<laughs> let me go. Let me go to Jeannie and let her be explicit about the health benefits because uh, I, I believe all the pediatric associations recommend breastfeeding up until age two. I think the issue here is beyond two and what the benefits are. It's a little controversial, but go ahead, Jeannie. Hi, Dr. Drew. Good, great to be here. I, I, it is controversial, and uh, although the American Academy of Pediatrics talks. Um, to allow children to breastfeed till about two years. The World Health Organization says we really need to be doing that further. Uh, four years is more applicable. And there's, uh, in our magazine, we have uh, Catherine Detweiler, and she talks about that really for humans, for human mammals, five, six years of age is appropriate. Uh, biologically, physiologically, how it affects the child, how, the bonding, the nurturing that they have with the mother. Sure, the content of the milk, but it's more than food, breastfeeding. It's an interaction. It's a security that the child achieves that gives them strength to, to step forward and be stronger. The more of that loving strength they have at the beginning, they can really step forward and, in life. And I don't think strong. anyone disagrees with that. I mean, I think that's absolutely, it's, it's how long to maintain it, I think, that people have issues. I talked to a, a, a late adolescent male once who was breastfed until he was like six or something, and he was very disturbed by it. Do you think that's because he lives in a culture where it's not normative? Yeah, ab absolutely. We don't see that. It's like birth. We don't see births. We, we don't see women breastfeeding, so it's unusual, it's odd, it's, it's out of the box. If, if we lived in other societies where we were experiencing this, this was a normal daily activity that, that everyone grew up with, yeah, that would be, that would be quite easy. Let's uh, talk to, to Kathy, to Kathy so, in Texas. I'm sorry to interrupt there. Kathy. Hi, Dr. Drew. Kathy? Um, as a mother, I respect other mothers' choices, but... Uh, when once the child starts walking, talking, you know, has teeth, speaking in full sentences, then they should be, uh, you know, encouraged to grow a, and not to breastfeed. Breastfeeding a three to four year old or even a seven to eight year old to me is uh, outrageous. Jamie, it is Jamie how do you respond to that? Not, Jamie, it's not good for the kid. It's wrong. Jamie. Um, that is unfortunately that's our culture. <laughs> Talking. I mean, that's a really that's a common opinion here, and uh, and it's not true. I was breastfed until I was six years old. I self weaned. Uh, it's it was really I had a wonderful childhood. It was really beneficial. I have wonderful memories of it. And I'm giving my children this. My sister wasn't breastfed. Uh, she was only breastfed for two weeks by my mother, and uh, she saw how I was parented and wanted to be able to give her children that too. So all five of her children. Why the were difference? Breastfed. Why the difference between the two of you? Um, I. Well, my, my sister's 14 years older than me, mm -hmm. and uh, my mom had bad information and was pressured to wean. So by the time I came around, she felt more confident in her choices to do what she felt was right for our family and for her children.